Hi, I'm Eric D'Amato, and welcome to the fourth anniversary special of Normal Entertainment. Got one of my favorite games of all time here, The Bard's Tale. So, without further ado... You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? The stronger the Bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Set that to ten. A high vitality will increase the Bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. A high dexterity allows the Bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the Bard if he has high charisma. And finally, rhythm. Important for a Bard. Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Now, obviously this game isn't based on anything specific, but, well, fourth anniversary, special episode, figured I'd do something, well, something I really I wanted to do for a while. So, here we are! Allows the Bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. I'm just trying to get all this information out because this is the great Tony J. Reading all these lines and mm, his voice is delightful. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. Finally, The bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. I'm going to go with two hands, with dual wheels. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one... It had come to this at last. One man... A poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. We've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument, and prepare to ply his trade. So we're going to be starting up Hooten. Ah! A rat! A rat! You drunken lots! Get off your backsides and kill it! I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? Say, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, 
I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. Now, um, if you hadn't already noticed, that is Carrie Elways doing the voice of the bard, and as I said before, Tony J is the narrator. And also, one thing I adore about this game is it is, in fact, a musical! And for the sake of decency, I will not sing along, even though I love this song. Beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer A long time ago, way back in history When all there was to drink was nothing but drops of tea Along came a man by the name of Charlie Moss And he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops The drunken rat that ache and drum and throw his pub as will. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses at eleven o'clock you stop. For five short seconds, remember Charlie Moss. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! He must have been a man of all the salt and all the king. Come to his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he's done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Well, bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till you hear, dear, dear. There are multiple bushel of hubs, you steal the ground with your stick. The kind of lubrication to make your engines tick. Fifty pints of wallopity will keep away the quacks. It's only eight pence a penny and only six in tax. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! It must have been the time of all the salt and all the king. Unto his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till the beer, 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 till the beer, beer, beer. The Lord bless Charlie Moss! Yeah, there's a lot of songs in this game. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, if that's not up your alley, uh, might not be the last play for you. But I love them. I also love the Scottish setting the whole thing has. What are you, a man or a mouse? Get down there and Mary may have a go with you. You wouldn't want to be the only man in town she hasn't had a go with, would you? <laughs> hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort. That rat is not going to kill itself. Get down there and earn a meal for once. Talk to everyone. Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. <laughs> There's also dialogue options in this game, and we'll always be going with a snarky one. And then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chess, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. <laughs> yeah, so this, um... The bard has repeated dialogue with, uh, with the narrator. And... Get our 
sword out. And this is one of the few games which is aware that it's a game, kind of fourth wall breaking send up of video games that actually works. Because the game, it's part of it itself, doesn't suffer. There's nothing in the barrels, but I have a compulsion to break them. Don't need to save point yet. Quest complete! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Oh. Or has he? Ah! Ah! And we are now on fire. I don't know if it's possible. The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, track. dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Stuck. Yeah, that, that's draining our health quite effectively, actually. Being on fire is not enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, <lock it> up. <laughs> Nicely done. Or is that well done? <laughs> not well done. More like medium rare. <laughs> now we'll have another go at him with this. You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. New weapon, brought. What you What's that, son? I can't hear you. Rat got your tongue. I need to get the song again. It was a good song, but I'm not going to bore y'all by making you listen to it twice. Don't feel too bad, laddie. I have a bigger rat back home. Hell, I'm married to it. Classic. Hey, not so close, fella. You're still smoking, and this drink is flammable. You aren't still mad at me, are you? If you get down there and kill that bad, horrible, awful monster, we can kiss and make up. It better be more than a kiss to make up for that. Break your barrels, they like that. Down we go. Oh, crazy old guy. Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie. Don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. Listen, I'm right. here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. My boy. Done. Show me what you got. New tune, Under Spider. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? Okay. I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? Well, what are you <laughs> on about? You're completely yeah. insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see.
Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Uh... You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. That was useful, at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. But they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command keys. For example, press the aggressive key to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Attack! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? <laughs> you can experiment with different uses of the command keys to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Each creature has a specific actual tune to it. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. My boy. And off the crazy old guy goes. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. Another victory for me! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah, we should have the map up and our lightning slider. Charge! Oh, that was easy. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellar... How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronising to me, OK? Yeah. Yeah, I do find this game very funny. It's fine, fair enough if you don't, but I... To me, this game's a freaking riot. <laughs> Probably a long one, it is an RPG. But... Run away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it. Time. Oh no, the rat is the gutless one, for I spilt his about your cellar. I'd be only too happy to haul him up here for you to see. In fact, it might actually improve the ambience of this place. No need. The stench you bring with you will be proof enough. Well, maybe there's more to you than meets the eye. Transformers. Save it for the half-wits. What you can do for me is best done in silence. Ooh. You knew what was down there. You and all the rest of your tartan-clad trash. So how about less chatter and more chow? And be quick about it! Right away. I enjoy a man with a quick tongue. I'll see you get the finest room in the inn. It's the one right next to mine. So the bard headed up to his room to avail himself of the pleasures that the inn had to offer. Stop 
Snark is the way to go. Or Bard. Next morning. Wonder what we caught. Wonder if they used the lightning spider. That was quite a night. I'm afraid you almost made me late opening the bar this morning. Oh, that strange friend of yours is waiting for you outside. I had to chase him away. He was unnerving some of my regulars. See you later, love. Just talk to people. Just to do the rounds. You killed it! You killed it! The fire-breathing rat in the cellar was the best practical joke we had! Now, what are we supposed to do to entertain ourselves? Shocking, shocking, absolutely shocking. Oh, your little friend's giving me quite a charge. Bring him around again sometime, won't ya? Yeah, 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 so you killed a rat. Would you want a medal? Uh, no, I got quite enough. What's the tubs over here got to say? Very impressive, young man. I wish I had the guts to stand up to the wife the way you stood up to that rat. But of course, she's a bit more vicious. Yeah. I guess. Let's leave the bar. First steps out into the real world. Uh... Yep, this is largely set in... What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. Ooh. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, the trow. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Snark time. Do I look like a village idiot to you? I've had more than my fill of barbarian hordes, evil wizards, cities locked in eternal winter, and any other type of adventure you care to throw my way. There's too much danger and not enough profit to go around. Come now, boy, what's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Here, laddie. Try it out. New uh, artifact, Calais. She's very beautiful, but uh, I've found that mysterious strangers offering gifts usually lead to trouble. Mostly. You wouldn't want anything from me, would you? Have any ulterior motives, by any chance? You wound me, laddie. That remains to be seen. Out with it, man. What do you want from me? You've got it all wrong. Look, my boy. Oh, okay. I do want something from you. I thought so. What is it you want? Something dangerous, no doubt. No, no, nothing like that. You see, I belong to an ancient order. Oh, dear. We've travelled the land for years now, seeking men such as yourself to... Aha! I knew it was something like that. I'm not joining anything. But I will take your advice and find this trowel. Oh, and I'll have that amulet as well, if you're still offering it. Of course, lad, of course. Here you go, and don't forget. The trow is in the fairy haunt woods. Goes by the name of Banafeet. Five adder stones. Well, well, well. A safe point. Let's explore Hooten a bit first. Oh, hello. Okay, this time will be nice. It's a puppy. Well now, you're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Yay, we got a scummy dog now. Come on, boy.
<laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! We're, we're tipping Scottish cows. Trying to the sheriff's office. Just... Top of the morning! Sorry! I can't... It's in the store. Black Hammer Smithy. Wonder what he's got to sell. Well now, you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about. The fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armour, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final, with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have a buyback policy. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Ha ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule. You break it, you buy it. So this... Let's have a look at your armour, then. It's a fact. A warrior's only as tough as his weakest armour. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Can you tell me about this? My armor's some of the best. I have bought hide butterfly skin double cured with adjustable suede straps and cast iron buckles. Tough enough to take a hit, but light enough to keep you fast. I'd be willing to part with this item for a very reasonable price. Nah, not worth my time. We'll see items when we are Let me see something else. Them, afford, afford them Show me your swords and flails. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. Ooh. When you're battling a foe up close and yeah, personal, you don't anything. want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. Let me see something else. See you, old man. Uh, probably deal with him more next time. Come on, gentlemen. 40 gold's not really much. <laughs> Gotta loot more houses. Sorry. It's over here. A broch. Ah, it's a church. It's um, it's a place you go for healing. The broch. Oh, she works here. Ogan. Oh, Ogan's mum. Who's Ogan? I'll broke his house then. You've come looking for my boy Ogan, haven't you? Of course you have. But it's gone he is, for he's the one. The chosen one who free the fair princess from cruel bondage. What? And what do you suppose that means to a poor old woman like me? Why? Everything, that's what. For he's promised to come back, my Ogan, and take me away from this awful place and give me a proper house with glass in the windows, floors of wood, and a larder so full we'll never know hunger again. So, when you see him, tell him his mother loves him. Uh-huh, okay. We're gonna leave now. Putin. Is this field? Come on, puppy. What's in this house? Treasure chest. Beer bottle. Still worth money somehow. I don't get it, but... We'll take what we can. Give nothing back. Excuse me? Yes, we're going around and looting everyone's houses at the moment. We are the Bard. Tell someone's diary. <laughs> Such a delightful man is the bard. Is this a pub? 
check the sheriff. Maybe he has a quest for us. That's the usual leave. So you're the fellow what's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? Don't worry, Sheriff. They don't bite. Much. Now, there's no cause to be trying that attitude with me. I'm for collecting the taxes and keeping the peace. I have enough problems with the Colonel Tra around here. I don't need to be worrying about the likes of you. Okay, maybe a quest would have worked. Maybe snakes would have worked better in this situation. Let's try again if we can. What? You're back again? Go kill a rat, you rogue. It's all you're good for. Yeah, that's not great. <clears throat> Where were we? Oh, oh, yes, the... We just gotta redo this stuff and get the quest from him. I forgot we can't snark and have that guy. Oh no. Save it for the. That was. Skip it. Do I look like. She's very beautiful. Boring. Move along. Now let's get that quest right and proper. And then we'll call it a video, of course. It's getting to be that time. So you're the fellow what's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in me jail. So, no effect either way. Okay, no quest from him. He was way a waste of time. Try to get a quest here. Sorry! You're not excused. Oh, the Kirk. Uh, I wonder what's in uh, this building, uh, Mr. Spark. Kirk Ahuden. Welcome to the Kirk of Houghton, young... Uh, Next. Not quite interested. So what else we got in this lovely little village? What? Got anything to steal in here? Boyd's Battles. Hello, traveler. Could I interest you in any of my finely crafted barrels? I have many models to choose from, all displayed attractively right outside my shop. Hmm. Let me think. Now. That was odd. You're like this. What are you doing? Stop that right now. Why are you breaking my barrels? 
Sorry, but breaking barrels is one of my hobbies. Well, I can't have you breaking those barrels. I haven't sold them yet. I could, however, offer you some incentive to practice your hobby elsewhere. Oh. I don't need any incentive. Breaking barrels is just one of those things I enjoy. So back off before I forget the barrels and start on you. Now that's your attitude, then off with you. Come back when you're in a better mood and maybe we can talk. Uh, I did just do that because I like being snarky, but you do want to, uh, talk to Don't know if that counts as being... You may have screwed that up. Oh, no. What are you doing back here? You owe me for the barrels you broke. If you're in the mood to talk, we can discuss a way for you to repay me. Oh, all right. Let's hear what you have to say. If you want to get your money back, go and destroy the barrels I've already sold. I've set aside silver from every new barrel I sell to replace the ones you've broken. If my sales are good, we both stand to profit. I like the way you think, old man. It's dodgy business practices like yours that have made this land great. I'll be happy to help out however I can. I look forward to a long and profitable relationship. See you again soon. Sure. As soon as I hand over silver, everyone's my friend. Yeah, so now every barrel we break counts for as money. Excuse me! Nope. Sorry. Not accepted. Gonna search the last two houses. And then we'll be able to continue this next time. Old Man Vinton. You. You are Be careful, young sir. There is a ferocious bugbear on the loose. Grrr. I'd best leave be if I were you. I, I, I mean, I mean, you'd best leave if you were you. Oh, you know what I mean. You should leave Houghton and ne'er come back. Don't worry, old man. If I was you, then there'd be two rambling idiots in this brock. <laughs> Wait, if I were you, there'd only be one rambling idiot in this... No, no, wait, if I were... No, oh, all right, never mind. Either way, I'm not planning on moving in here. I'll be gone soon enough. Okay, let's see what else we can have in this wonderful little village. What is this block? Here we go. Oh! Hey, crazy oh! Stuff. Huh, we wanted. Oh! Anyway, next time we'll uh, see more of Hooten and uh, do some and actually get this game started properly. So till then, ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you like if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!